Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day, and we've been able to do that thanks to you guys so if there's anything that you guys want us to react to or just watch for the sake of watching big movies trailers um adverts whatever the case is drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll look into it and for the reactions we'll definitely react to them we also have a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs that's on funny and jesse 2.0 if there's anything that you want us to react to prank challenge whatever the case is let us know and we'll look into it and don't forget to subscribe we also have a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse you can find us on itunes spotify podbean uh this channel where i'm doing the reaction and our second youtube channel for the visual of our um, podcast so just enjoy those it doesn't matter what you're doing cooking washing doesn't matter you i'm sure you enjoy the conversations as much as we do you can also um become a member on our patreon who we'll appreciate the effort the effort don't know what's wrong with me today and mispronouncing things not really mispronouncing but anyway we we keep on moving a uh, big shout out to our 15,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. May you stay blessed. 15,000 is not a joke. 15,000 is a lot. Um, also, thank you and a big shout out to people that give us things to react to, people that comment, people that like, people that are still watching, people that will come across this channel, people that are just with us at this moment in time thank you very much you guys are the best like i said may you stay blessed and i really hope you're doing well and a big shout out for those people that are still commenting where they're from we appreciate all that so as you can tell from the title we're going to be reacting to where was god before the creation of heaven and earth i think last week i reacted to something with a similar um similar title but i think it had to do with time or something i'm not sure no it's quite similar so i hope maybe these will have uh different information but either way we're still going to react to it because someone suggested it and a big shout out to the person that suggested this thank you for bringing this to us so without wasting time let's get into the video Question. Question. Where was God before the creation of heaven and earth? Let the Bible answer. As Christian, we are enlightened that God has existed from the beginning. However, one of the things that we still need to know, where was he before the creation of heaven and the earth? Almost all the pastors of our time, do not even discuss or teach us about it. Does God have a statement about it that we can read in the Bible? Let's find out. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 8 verse 22 to 31 it says, The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. Before we continue reading, we must first understand and remember, that the speaker in these verses is Christ himself, as the wisdom. But the question here is, how is he the Christ, as the wisdom? If we will get started by reading on the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 12 it says, 
I wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. From that verse, the speaker introducing himself as wisdom, but who is it called wisdom? Thus, directly defined by Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Therefore, it is clear that Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Now, let us continue reading, Proverbs chapter 8 verse 23 to 31. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, for ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Let us take note, in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 30 and 31, let's read it again. Then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Christ told, I was by him. In other words, he was with God. But the question, where is he? He is rejoicing in the habitable part of his or God's earth. Meaning, God has his land or earth, before he created heaven and the earth. Hoping we've got the point. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get updated. Very interesting video like any other person would like to ask. If God had his own land, I mean it's not like he um he has this physical feature to him if god is some is a force that we can't even see and he has this maybe the entire world to himself why create humans what was the purpose behind that did at some point god become um bold or some not bold but bold like he needed activity or something what is the reason for our creation other than that um otherwise i found this a little bit confusing but then i really appreciate the person that suggested this and if you've got if you can explain this uh in the simplest of english i'd be more than glad we mostly don't understand stuff because maybe it's using all these figurative speech in it which which is something else that confuses people i myself was confused at some point but i tried so hard to um understand throughout this thing throughout this video so it seems like this was created from a christian point of view so to the non-muslims 
So to the Christians watching this, how would you interpret this? And to the Muslims watching this, how would you interpret this? To the Americans, to the Jews, to the whoever is watching this, how would you best um, interpret the lesson that you're getting from here? Anyone to school me is welcome. And I really welcome people that are going to um, help me understand stuff. So let me know in the comment section below and I appreciate Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.